It was a huge afternoon for this Broncos defense, especially the secondary. Let's watch Caden Stearns right here against Trey McKitty make a break on this ball and really separate McKitty from the ball. Big time hit. Look at the reaction on the sideline. Fifth round pick out of Texas, getting a lot of playing time, making a bunch of plays. Feel pretty good. Not on my watch. Not that rookie from Georgia. Now, fourth and three right here. Fourth and three Chargers trying to mount an attack. Here comes Keenan Allen, their star player. He's going to get matched up out here on the outside against Ronald Darby. He's got the option route right here. He can go inside or he can go outside. He gives him the dead leg fake. He breaks inside and Darby's right there. See that fourth and three stop? That's a turnover. Ball's going back to the offense. Huge play right there by the defense. Ronald Darby doing his job. All right, now let's take a look at Justin Simmons here. He's dropping down into that really lurking in, in that flat area over here. All right, he's just in zone coverage. He's reading Justin Herbert. He's in great shape if he wants to check the check down. But his eyes are up, and he sees the cross of Michael Williams. He jumps right in front of it, and he can't believe he did everything right. Played the right defense, eyes were in the right place, did everything but make the interception. That's what frustrates a player like Justin Simmons more than anything. He did everything right, but they broke up the play. Play fake to Eskler this time, and Herbert on the move. Now throws almost intercepted by Justin Simmons. Oh, man, one of those. I mean, you take a look right here at Nate Hairston on Jared Cook. Another option route. Makes the break on the ball. And this one. He can't believe, is there a hole in my glove? How'd that get through there? Like he's right there, both hands on it. Now, you take a look here at Justin Simmons, and he's just in zone coverage. Look at it, look at him, ready to make this break. He's putting that back foot in the ground, he's driving right here to Michael Williams. Almost had an interception there. Let's just take a look at it from the end zone. Justin Herbert trying to find Michael Williams right here. They had good protection. This throw though, Justin Simmons sees it all the way. Doesn't quite get both hands on, but he breaks it up. And then, the biggest star. The biggest star was Patrick Sertain. 14-7 in the fourth quarter right here. And he's in zone coverage, but look at his head. His eyes are back on Justin Herbert as he breaks the pocket right here. On third and 14, eyes up, he takes the ball away in the end zone. Takes points away and takes the ball away. Gives the ball back to the offense. But he wasn't done. No. Seven minutes later, Sertan was at it again. 21-7 now. Chargers trying to play hurry up. Austin Eckler out of the backfield. Right here, Patrick Sertan is in zone coverage. He's in perfect position. See, he's reading all three routes. They're going to attack at all three levels. Deep, medium, and shallow. Right here. And there, when the ball is checked down to Eckler and the ball skips off him, Patrick Sertan with his second interception. First career touchdown, helping the Denver Broncos to their sixth win against a division opponent outrunning just, Justin Herbert to the end zone. Two interceptions on the day for Sertan. And this defense, the three sacks, the 10 quarterback hits. The defense, amongst the league's best, carrying this team to their sixth win of the year as the sidelines erupts for the Denver Broncos. Patrick Sertan put this game on ice. It was a great effort all the way around, but the defense, especially Patrick Sertan and his posse in the secondary, had a great game, really limiting some of the talent of Justin Herbert. Herbert. Picked off. Sertan up the sideline. Can he get there? Sertan to the end zone for the touchdown. Broncos right in the thick of the race in the AFC West as a result. 